Management Reporter is a financial reporting tool that you'll use to create balance sheets and profit and loss statements and many other financial reports. We'll be looking at the standard report wizard and also the report components. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is launch the report wizard. To launch the report wizard, go to this icon at the top, click on it, it'll start the wizard. Let's create a balance sheet first and we'll look at our actual dollars in the GL. We'll select next. Now in this window, we're going to identify all the accounts on the left hand side that should be assigned to this report section. This is easy to do. We'll select an account over here or a range of accounts, add them to that section, and then continue. For balance sheet reports, you're going to have to add all the P&L accounts into a, a section called Net Income and Loss. So let's do that now. It's easy to do. We'll just select all the accounts and add this into the section. There you go. Now we've got all our accounts identified by report section and we'll hit next. In this screen we have the option to edit our row format. We can select a row, we can move it up or down, or we can change the description by double clicking on that row, changing the description. But we'll just accept the defaults and hit next and move on. In this screen we have the option to preview a report to see what it will look like. We can also add some additional shading if we want to. I'll select that and hit Next. In this screen, we can choose to select the entire company to report on or a subsection of the company. We'll report on the entire company. We'll click on Next. And here we'll name our report. We can also select the default reporting period. We'll do that here. Click on Next. And here's the results of our wizard. If we're done with that, we can click Finish it'll start the report. Here's my report. I've got the standard components here and we'll take a look at that a little later but let's generate the report now. And here's the report. This is our new balance sheet. We can scroll down and take a look at it. Here we need a little more formatting. We can get rid of these rows that have empty amounts in them. So let's do that. We'll go back to the report here. We'll go into the settings area. And we'll select not to show zero amounts. We can save that. And let's run the report again. And here's our revised report. If we scroll down, we can see that the empty rows have gone away. Next, let's take a look at the components in Management Reporter. Here's our first report we just created with the report wizard. Let's take a look at it. There's basically three building blocks in Management Reporter. The row format, which shows me row by row what exactly what I want on that report. And here you can see the labels that we created by the wizard. And here's a connection to the GL. The other component is the column. We can look at the column here, and basically it looks at the period of time that we're looking at in a description. It's very simple. And the third component is hierarchy tree. We don't have any set up here, but this will allow you to look at certain divisions in your company, certain departments, and we'll get into that later. This was just a quick glance at Management Reporter, which is the financial reporting tool that you'll be using to create balance sheets and income statements.